you look at wind patterns. It turns out that many of these sightings, these objects, defy the direction of the wind. This could be the moment everything changes. For decades, the idea of UFOs was buried under laughter and disbelief. But now, something undeniable is surfacing, backed not by rumors, but by radar, sensors, and military footage. Video evidence that they can't ignore when you talk to high-level people at the government. The Pentagon is being forced to answer questions it once ignored. What are these objects that defy gravity, move without sound, and vanish into the ocean like ghosts? Why now? Why here? This isn't science fiction anymore. It's science confronting the unexplained. And as more data emerges, we're left with one haunting possibility. We may not be alone, and never were. From laughter to legitimacy. In 2017, the world tilted just a little when the New York Times published an article backed by military footage and Pentagon admissions. These weren't campfire stories anymore. They were official encounters captured through advanced military tech. Jets tracked unidentified objects defying all known aerodynamics. Footage showed them accelerating, stopping, and vanishing without any visible propulsion or heat signature. This wasn't one wild claim. Multiple pieces of data aligned. Video, radar, infrared, and visual sightings all pointed to something real and unexplainable. For the first time, ridicule was replaced with a very different emotion, uncertainty. Suddenly, the burden of proof didn't lie with the believer. It shifted to the institutions, the military, the Pentagon, and science. They were no longer asking if these objects exist. They were asking how and why. And for perhaps the first time in history, the world listened carefully. The gold standard of evidence. Seeing is no longer believing. Not when our skies are tracked by more than just the human eye. Today, we have sensors that never blink. Jets equipped with high-speed cameras. Satellites that scan in infrared. Radar arrays that sweep the skies in patterns we couldn't imagine just decades ago. And what they're all seeing now doesn't fit. When one pilot spots a strange object, it could be dismissed. When radar also sees it, it's harder to ignore. But when multiple sources, radar, infrared, telescopes, and human eyes, all confirm the same object at the same moment, we're in new territory. That's called multiple modes of detection. It's now considered the gold standard. This level of corroboration has become more common in recent years. The same object appears on radar, is visible to pilots, is tracked by heat signatures, and is caught on video. There are no wings, no exhaust, no sonic boom. Just movement that challenges the laws of motion we've depended on for centuries. And the maneuvers? Out of this world. Dropping tens of thousands of feet in seconds, turning at impossible angles, surviving G-forces that would crush any known aircraft or pilot. These aren't near misses. They're confirmed anomalies. So now the question isn't just what's out there, it's who, or what, is behind the controls. When physics says no, imagine watching a jet soar through the sky. Now imagine something moving faster, stopping suddenly, reversing direction, and vanishing, all without a sound. No engine roar, no smoke trail, no sonic boom. That's what these unidentified objects are doing, and physicists are running out of explanations. Some of these craft, if we can call them that, are moving at speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 20. That's 20 times faster than sound. Any known object should light the sky with noise and heat at those speeds. But these don't. They leave no trace of propulsion, no exhaust, no heat plumes, just silence and motion. Even more bizarre? The G-forces. When something turns or drops sharply, it generates incredible stress measured in Gs. A roller coaster might hit 5 Gs. Fighter jets can handle up to 9. But these objects? Some register hundreds of Gs. No human could survive that. And no machine we've built could hold together under that pressure. And then there's the ocean. These objects don't just fly. They dive underwater seamlessly. No splash, no slowdown. They enter the sea as if it were air. Whatever they are, they're not following our rules. It's as if they're writing their playbook. And the scientists watching are left stunned, scrambling to keep up. The five possibilities, and the one we fear. When faced with the unknown, the human mind rushes to explain. The Pentagon has done just that, offering a list of possible explanations for these strange sightings. 
Some are harmless and others are deeply unsettling. First, there's the classic fallback, weather balloons. They are harmless, drifting, and often misunderstood. Then there's the debris theory, bits of old satellites or failed missions burning back through Earth's atmosphere. It's plausible, maybe, but it doesn't explain crafts that turn sharply or dive into oceans. Next are natural phenomena, rare weather patterns, or atmospheric illusions. Science always keeps that option on the table. Hypersonic drones are also on the list. Countries like Russia are already deploying missiles that travel faster than Mach 5. These machines are real and terrifying, but they don't behave the way these objects do. Then comes the final option, the one they simply call other. That word carries a weight that's hard to ignore. Other means not us, not known, not explainable. It's a placeholder for what might be a leap beyond our world. The problem is that none of the other explanations fully fit. The patterns, the movement, the way these things defy wind and gravity, nothing matches. That's why other is no longer a last resort. It's becoming the only option left on the table. Against the wind and logic. Nature follows rules. Balloons drift with the wind. Planes turn in wide arcs. Drones buzz with sound and leave behind traces. But these UFOs, they don't care about our logic or our atmosphere. Wind analysis is one of the first tools scientists use to determine what something might be. If it's a weather balloon, it'll move with the wind. Simple. But many of these unidentified objects don't. They fly against the wind, even in heavy currents, and change direction in ways no known airborne device can. Some skeptics argue these are just optical illusions. Maybe we're seeing something small and close, but thinking it's huge and far away. That could make a drifting balloon appear to zip across the sky. But when multiple instruments track the same object from different angles, such as radar, cameras, and infrared, it becomes clear. This is no illusion. And when an object zigzags against strong winds, drops thousands of feet instantly, or vanishes into the ocean, we're not dealing with a trick of the eye. These aren't just outliers. They're consistent patterns seen across decades, and each one pushes back against our understanding of physics and flight. It's no longer about spotting a light in the sky. It's about watching something intelligent behave with a purpose and doing it without following any of our rules. The film that caught something real. When filmmaker Caroline Corey approached physicist Michio Kaku with a wild idea of tracking UFOs in the sky over just five days, even he raised an eyebrow. It sounded like wishful thinking, you don't just walk out with a camera and catch the unexplainable on cue. Or do you? What happened next was unexpected. Her team, working on the documentary A Tear in the Sky, recorded something. Not vague flashes or distant lights, but structured movements, patterns, objects caught twisting and darting in the sky, mimicking the same behavior described in Pentagon footage. The crew used high-end military-grade equipment, multi-spectrum cameras, triangulated sensors, and real-time tracking systems. This wasn't a shaky cell phone video. It was calculated, measured, and the footage they collected bore an eerie resemblance to the infamous Tic Tac UFOs that Navy pilots had once encountered. These weren't illusions. The film showed objects changing direction with no obvious propulsion, vanishing and reappearing across different instruments, just like the official encounters, but now caught by independent civilians with cameras and patience. For skeptics, it became harder to deny. If filmmakers can catch this daily, what else is waiting to be seen? A Tear in the Sky didn't just ask questions. It quietly recorded answers that were strange, silent, and deeply compelling. When technology meets mystery, every era has its frontier, a point where science meets the unknown and pauses. Right now, we're standing at one. Our most advanced sensors, radars, and infrared detectors are staring into the sky and being humbled. Modern warfare is pushing boundaries with hypersonic weapons capable of moving over Mach 5. Russia has already deployed some in recent conflicts. These machines are real, fast, and terrifying, but still obey physics. They burn fuel, make noise, and leave behind a trail. Now compare that to the UFOs seen zigzagging silently above our oceans. They move faster, maneuver tighter, and leave nothing behind. No heat, no light, no sound. These objects perform stunts our most sophisticated drones can't imitate, and some of them were spotted long before hypersonic tech was even invented. That's what makes this mystery deeper. These aren't glimpses of tomorrow's war machines. They could be glimpses of something far beyond, 
either from another nation decades ahead of us or something else entirely. The Pentagon may list hypersonic drone as a possible explanation, but the objects we've documented don't behave like machines at all. They act more like ideas that forgot gravity applies. We build technology to reach the skies, but these things, they act like they were born there. The sound of silence. When a jet breaks the sound barrier, you know it. The air shatters with a thunderous boom, a ripple of energy that echoes for miles. But these unidentified objects, they move faster than any plane we've built and do it in complete silence. At 16 miles above the Earth, it traveled one mile every 1.64 seconds. So fast, no aircraft or missile on Earth could catch it. There is no sonic boom, no exhaust trail, just clean and abrupt movement, as if the air itself doesn't resist them. It's not just eerie, it's impossible by our standards. Nature pushes back whenever we push something past the speed of sound. These objects move without that pushback. They slip through the sky like water through fingers. Physicists are baffled. Breaking the sound barrier without noise or energy discharge suggests an entirely new kind of propulsion, or no propulsion. It challenges everything we know about friction, motion, and energy transfer. Some argue it could be a trick of distance. Maybe the object isn't far away and fast or close and slow. But that theory crumbles when multiple sensors triangulate its position. You can't fake silence across radar, infrared, and visual detection. It either is or it isn't. And what it is continues to escape us. There is no heat, no roar, no trail, just questions. In a world where every action reacts, these things break that rule. They move like whispers in a world of engines, through the lens of deep time. If something is more advanced than us, how advanced could it be? A few years? A century? Try a thousand. Or ten. Compared to the universe's age, over 13 billion years, a thousand-year head start is nothing. Just a blink. Imagine a civilization that began exploring space not in 2025, but in 1025, or even earlier. With just that head start, their technology could look like magic to us. The things we see now, flying objects that defy gravity, slip into oceans, and vanish without a sound, might be routine for them, just background noise to a civilization playing with physics we haven't yet discovered. Some scientists are now daring to entertain a larger idea, that what we're seeing isn't just advanced tech, it's a peek into a level of science we can't yet grasp. At a certain energy level, space and time begin to bend. That level is called the Planck scale, the point where gravity, quantum physics, and time itself start to unravel. Any civilization that can manipulate the Planck scale would be able to travel not just across stars, but across dimensions. This sounds like science fiction, but if the laws of physics truly do crack open at those energies, then wormholes, warp drives, and invisible travel aren't fantasy. They're just science from the future. The Kardashev of scale and what comes next. To understand where we might be headed and who might already be there, scientists use the Kardashev of scale. It's a way of measuring a civilization's technological power based on energy use. And it might just explain who or what is visiting our skies. A type one. Civilization can harness all the energy of its planet. That's where we're heading, slowly. A type two controls the energy of an entire star. A type three? That's galactic. It uses power from multiple stars, maybe even black holes, and roams the galaxy like we cross oceans. We're not even fully type one yet. But what if a type two or three civilization operates the objects we see? They wouldn't just fly differently. They'd think differently. Time, space, gravity. These are tools to bend and reshape. Michio Kaku believes that to access the Planck energy, where space and time go unstable, you'd need to be a type two or three civilization. And once you're there, things like wormholes and time warps stop being science fiction. They become engineers. So maybe these objects aren't here to hurt us. Maybe they're just passing through or observing or testing. The bigger question might not be who they are, but how long they've been watching. And what happens when we finally notice them again? Why the timing matters? Why now? That's the question quietly humming beneath every headline. For decades, governments denied or ignored these sightings. But now, in recent years, 
something has changed. Former intelligence officials are speaking publicly. The Pentagon is forming task forces. Congress is holding hearings. Secrecy is cracking, slowly. Maybe it's pressure from the public. Maybe the flood of data simply can't be hidden anymore. Or maybe it's them. Whoever or whatever operates these crafts, perhaps they're allowing themselves to be seen, testing our reactions, gauging our readiness, preparing us. We've reached a moment in history where science fiction bleeds into science fact. Technology has caught up to mystery. We can now measure, track, and analyze things we once only imagined. And as our tools sharpen, so do our questions. Disclosure isn't coming all at once. It's a drip, a pattern, like lights blinking in the sky, one after another. The truth may still be out of reach, but we're heading in the right direction for the first time in human history. The skies are no longer silent. What we once dismissed as fantasy now challenges our best minds and most advanced machines. Frame by frame, radar by radar, something unexplainable is unfolding above and possibly beneath us. Whether these are glimpses of future technology, unknown physics, or distant civilizations, one thing is clear. The mystery is real. The silence is over. The question is no longer, do UFOs exist? It's, what do they want and why now? As we continue searching, the truth may not be out there. It might already be watching us from just out of view.